Are you ready to get slabby today? Today we are looking at my recent PSA submission that has just come back and there are some absolute bangers in today's video. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you with a brand new video and we don't get to do these all the time, but when we do, they're usually pretty good. Today, we have a PSA reveal, not a blind reveal, uh, but we have a PSA reveal. My most recent submission is back. We've got plenty of college football. We've got NFL. We've got basketball. we got a little baseball, too. I know baseball season getting out of way, and I probably should have more coming back, but hey, live and learn. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I do appreciate a like on my content. And uh, yes, yeah, so these are all my cards acquired via breaks and daily videos and pickups on com c and pickups on facebook marketplace and pickups on instagram i just like buying cards i like buying cards i like selling cards it's one of my favorite things to do um other than of course being live or creating content with you guys um but yeah this is my most recent submission you don't have to talk too much about it i do want to give a shout out i have used uh, other services in the past I do want to give a shout out to AJP Cards on Instagram, Cards with a Z, of course. Uh, he has done my last few submissions, and I can honestly say the results have been better than any other company that I've ever used. Uh, he rejects a ton of cards, and uh, my gem rate on this one, I didn't even check the gem rate because I'm a horrible YouTuber who doesn't, doesn't put in the work before clicking the go button, clicking the record button. Um, I didn't even check the gem rate, so I'm gonna have to do that little recap at the end. That's always fun. Um, but he has my gem rate much higher than in years past, and uh, absolute heat in here. So let's go ahead and get started with some collegiate football. You guys know that I have been very, very bullish on the Bowman Chrome University and Bowman's Best line. I did a full case of Bowman's Best University on the channel, and uh, I've hopped into just a ton of breaks. I've bought a ton of singles from these two sets in particular. Just a just a huge bull run on them. I think um, come draft time, I think a lot of these cards are going to go up quite a bit. Once the players are now drafted and they have new fan bases who now want to acquire their cards. So very bullish on the Bowman in the best line. And uh, here we go, kicking it off with Caleb Williams. Is he going to be a bear? We'll never know. And not until April anyway. Um, another masterpiece is Caleb Williams. This is a speckle, non-numbered. Got a... Travis Hunter green, and that is going to be numbered to 99, a 9. And then, this is from Prism Draft, so this is a Prism Draft green shimmer, which I believe are to like 11 or to 8, yeah, to 8 on that one. Just a really aesthetically pleasing card, but I was really hoping to gem it. And I have a feeling I'm going to say that a lot, I was really hoping to gem it, because the next two, yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe not the star-studded quarterbacks of the draft. Uh, not the, not the guys everybody's buying up right now, but a couple of eights right there. Yeah, those kind of hurt because, uh, you know, on the lesser guys, you need to be getting the better grades. You know, nines on Marvin Harrison's, nines on Caleb Williams, not ideal, but they're, they're fine. But when you're getting eights on guys like Blake Corum, that's, uh, a little rough. Pretty much a waste of time, a little bit of a waste of money too. Uh, Dylan Gabriel to 50, also a, uh, nine, a nine on Carson Beck. I promise you there are some banger tens coming up. Uh, like this one right here. Caleb Williams, Bowman, Sapphire, Gold to 50, PSA 10. Beautiful looking card. And then another 9 of Dallas Hayden to 25. And then Audric Estime, that is numbered to 10. And Jay not to 9. So yeah, the, the non-number or the non-autograph collegiate cards in this one absolutely hammered me. Everything else is good. This one makes it a little bit better though. Makes you feel a little bit better. How about a Michael Penix Jr.? I've was really hoping he'd be a Seahawk. I'm having less and less faith as we get closer and closer to the draft. Uh, one of 10 first on the print on that one as well. And then a uh, Jalen Daniels, and that was a white geometric. These are the Breakers Delight exclusives, the geometric pattern. Uh, got a number to five, got a nine on that one. Moving over to the autographs, I'm very, very curious about where this guy is going to end up. Bo Nix. Bo Nix, and that is a PSA 10 Sapphire Auto. Just have no clue where he's going to end up. Got another 8 right here. It's Rome from the Huskies. Uh, yeah, we wanted to gem that one out. Here's a nice, uh, that's a uh, Jackson Dart, and that is a Bowman Masterpieces PSA 10, number 75. Winston Wright from JML's Seminoles. 
Uh, 13 of 50 gold. Got an 8. Joe Milton got an 8. I, this one would have been the, the one to gem right here. 15 of 25. Team color. Tennessee team color elements of the game. Got an 8. We got a 10 on a Logan Diggs red lava to 5. And uh, we got an 8 on an Emeka Egbuka. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I was talking with AJP. And this Bowman's Best uh, product, the corner, it's usually right up here. There's some surface streaks. The reason why most of these got 8s is literally because of this quadrant of the card right here. Just some surface issues up here. And, uh, you know, he was kind of on the fence about sending some of these back. And I said, hey, let's just take our chance. Maybe it's, you know, a, a product-wide thing and they'll overlook. Nope, they didn't overlook it. Uh, so that is why we got a lot of these 8s. Uh, this one's a pretty cool one, uh, Shitter Sanders, and this is going to be one of the uh, RPA's prospect. Jumbo Relic Autos, I guess is the correct name. Non-numbered, but it is a thicker card, and we gem that one on out. So uh, He's not going to be a part of the draft, but it'll be interesting to see what his future holds. Riley Leonard, an 8. That is probably the expected grade on a jumbo like this. And then a 10 of Blake Corum as well. And then the big one, save the best for last. The Marvin Harrison Elements of the Game autographed gold to 50. We gem that one. Got a 9 on the non-auto, uh, or the non-insert auto. Uh, also gold geometric from the uh, best university breakers. Uh, number to 50. And a 101 Cade Klubnik, and that is a uh, Masterpieces Super Fractor. Pulled that in my best university video. Uh, I think that's one of like only two super fractors we pulled from the product and we've opened like cases upon cases uh, Sticker auto unfortunately, but man is that not a pretty card? All right more football, but this time of the NFL variety and it's a lot of sparkles and a lot of Asia exclusives and some cosmics uh, Tom Brady white sparkle from 22 mosaic. This is the uh, Super Bowl MVP card him in a Pats uniform classic uh, PSA 10 on that one Mahomes got a nine on that one. I think that was a gift from Hitman Rip. So now I see why he sent it over. And then I bought these two cards off of uh, Twitter. Just seemed too low. I can't remember if I paid like 800 or a thousand raw for both. We got a nine on the Mosaic White Sparkle, which you know these uh, these are under comp. I've been are they're 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 undervalued in my opinion. The reason why this is just a great set. It's a great looking set. Very eye appealing. And, uh, yeah, the white sparkles, they don't always show up that often. So we got a 9 on that. But we did get a 10 on the Phoenix White Shimmer. Phoenix White Shimmer, not my favorite of the white sparkles. But it's still just a pretty card. And it's a hard card. It's a card you don't see very often. And especially in a gem. Another dolphin. There's a cheetah on a, uh, that is going to be a field level cosmic. And then I was really, really happy to gem this one out. Because this card's beautiful. Jordan Addison Peacock PSA 10. It is a debut, unfortunately, but it's still a pretty card. One card, I was a little sad we didn't gem out, is this Tom Brady Dragon Scale. I just love all the Cosmics and Dragon Scales. You can clearly see that I have a uh, I have a favoritism in the hobby, and it, it leans towards these kind of cards. Uh, to, 90, uh, to 89 on that one. Another one we didn't gem out that I would have liked. Uh, team color, first off the line. I love the Shimmers, too, as you guys can tell. Uh... Red Shimmer first off the line to 35. Christian McCaffrey got a 9 on that one. Got a 9 on my field level Tom Brady from 21 Select. I do think that people are in general from the last three years of Select just do not appreciate the uh, field level silvers and even some of the field level like tie dyes and colors. Comps on them just ridiculously low and unappreciated. Back in my day, back in my day of the hobby, we, we loved field level. We loved court sides. And, uh, yeah, they, they have not gotten any love lately. And I wasn't getting any love from my grader either because my Dominators T-Law that I pulled from my 23 Donruss box in my daily video, number to 50, got a, got a 9. Let's move on into a little bit of basketball. And, uh, the biggest, actually, let's do baseball. We'll end with the biggest card of the submission. A little bit of baseball. I pulled this in my hour-long baseball video earlier this year. Austin Riley, first refractor, got a 9. Gunner got a gem on the update Sapphire debut. Also got a 10 on the Michael Harris debut. Love me some Sapphire. You guys already can know. Uh, Spencer Torkelson, purple to 25. I am sort of bullish on the Tigers this year. I like them. Young team. Uh, doesn't play in a particularly strong division. Uh, I think that they can come in and make some noise. I know Tork, you know, had a lot of hype as a prospect and hasn't really lived up to that expectation. 
I really like Torque. Got a gem on that one. I really like Jason Dominguez, too. The total opposite. Plays in a hard division from the most collectible team in the in, in the, the you know in the MLB. Uh, to 50, not a first or anything like that. Just a nice card, though. And then a Josh Young uh, to 99. And, of course, division rival. Also, World Series champion. And the Logo Fractor set is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And it seems like it's been easier to gem out the Logo Fractor set as well. So, I just love that effect. Finally, let's wrap up with some basketball. You already know we got the chef on the front. On the Fluxy envelope, the Flux Lucky envelope, everybody's favorite set in the world. And they love, love Flux so much that there are two cards. The Lucky envelope is numbered to eight only. We got one of the... One of them's mine, and it's a gem. We didn't get a gem. We didn't get a gem on the gold. No, no gem on the gold. Uh, Tatum gold. I think I pulled this one. I feel like I pulled this one just degening a box of flux. And oh, Tatum gold. We did gem out the Sohan Wemby's teammate on the cosmic, and then we also gemmed out the Giannis cosmic as well. And then we gem or we didn't gem out, but I this one's going into the PC. Luca on the disco nine to number to forty nine courtside. My boy, my boy has a zebra of this card. I want it so bad. I don't know if he still has it or not, but I want it. We gemmed out a Tari Eason lucky envelope courtside, and I'm glad that we did because anything less than a 10 probably would have been an L on this card. Obviously, Jabari and Jalen Green are the guys you want for the Rockets, but, uh, or, you know, uh, Eason not so bad. This guy was really, 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 really hot when I pulled this card, and I waited too long to send it into PSA. It's kind of cooled off a lot, but that is an Austin Reeves rookie script. PSA 10. And now we got some green cards coming up. A couple of nines. I love green cracked ice. It's one of my favorite retail inserts. Or parallels, I should say. Uh, so a couple of those. I like green a lot more when it's a PSA 10, and it's a Jabari. Green money shimmer. Ripped a box of Monopoly. Hit this card. This is number to 20. Number to 1 of 20. More green. I told you we're going to see some green cards here. That is a Derek Lively Prism Draft Green Choice, number to nine. Uh, number to eight, excuse me. And it was a PSA nine. And my favorite cards of the submission. Uh, I bought this off of Com C. I bought this card off of Com C. It had a condition note. It was like EX to NM. So in their eyes, it wasn't going to gem. And in PSA eyes, no, it's good. But it's good. It's a gem. Uh, downtown, I actually don't know what the pop count is on this one. I'll have to look it up uh, after I record the video and do that fun little edit for you guys. Uh, this is one of the earlier downtowns. Came out of Cornerstones in 1718. Uh, same as, uh, I think, the Tatum downtown as well. Actually, now I'm interested to know who's all on that checklist. Uh, nonetheless, we gemmed it out. Gemmed out this one too. Paulo Banquero, purple to 150. Uh, number, to, or number to 99, excuse me. Number to 99. Uh, nice card. And Paulo stuff is underpriced. And our final card of the day. I did a trade with one of my LCSs. And the other card, which uh, was an Ellie De La Cruz Atomic PSA 10 Auto. We uh, we went based off of comps and there was a high comp. And uh, months later, I'm looking back at the two cards. And I'm like, man, I got cooked on that deal. Ah, I'm doing the cooking. Uh, this is a Wemby PSA 10 Bowman Best University. Uh, Non-numbered on that one, but we gemmed it out. And that is the guy right now. One of the most collectible. One of the hottest players in NBA trading cards right now. I know it's a Mets 92 Uni, but he won't have autos in a Spurs Uni unless it's an airbrushed one with tops. And uh, yeah, so this makes this one of his most desirable cards. And uh, I can't even tell you what the last one sold for. All I know is that I paid too much for it raw. I got cooked on the other card. And then thankfully, in the end, we were the ones that were doing the cooking. Shout out to PSA in the kitchen. No, this one was clean when we sent. We knew this We knew this card was a gem when we sent it in. Uh, so that is going to do it for my PSA submission. What was your favorite card in the submission? And how have your sub results been lately? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you have. What you gemmed out lately. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. We'll catch you next time on Down the Road.